In the 104 episode of the ASAP Tech News, we talk about the new Noctua fan spacer EK Waterblock has a new waterblock for the AMD Radeon RX 7900 XTX, Astroc launches an official license, Sony the Hedgehog motherboard and Corsair launches an 8TB M.2 SSD. We start with Noctua, which has launched two products, the NAIS-1 inlet spacers and the NASA VG2 gasket set. These two are designed to work together but can be acquired and used as separate products. The NAIS-1-12SX2 and the NAIS-1-14SX2 are fan spacers that are available in two sizes, 140 and 120mm, and two colors, the regular Noctua Brown and the Chromas Black Editions, which is all black. These fan frames are used to move the fans away from the radiators or the heat sinks. This is done as, in some cases, some fans will create unpleasant noises if they are too close to an obstacle, such as a metal mesh or a radiator. These frames create a 5mm offset between the fan and the obstacle and thus reduce air turbulences and lower the noise of the fan. When we talk about the NA SAVG2 gasket set, things are different as this is just a flexible gasket that is made to fit the fan frame or the beforementioned spacers. This gasket is made for 140mm fans and it is ideal for radiator usage. Its main purpose is to remove the vibrations that might appear with some fan and radiator combinations as well as prevent airflow and static pressure leakage. For both fan spacers you will pay 14.90 US dollars or euros and that is for all variants regardless of colors, while for the gasket set you will pay 9 0.90 US dollars or euros. Next, EK Waterblock launches its own waterblocks for the AMD Radeon RX 7900 XTS graphics card. The EK Quantum Vector 2 waterblocks are designed to fit on the reference models of the Radeon RX 7900 XTS graphics card. In terms of the design, this waterblock has a black anodized aluminum backplate and a clear plexiglass panel on the front. From a functionality standpoint, the EK Quantum Vector 2 has an open split flow cooling engine design which has a low hydraulic flow restriction, and thus you can use a slower pump to move just as much coolant through the waterblock and thus you get a lower noise output from the pump, but the exact same performance from the water block. The coal plate has a thickness of 11mm and is made from solid copper, and has a direct attached acetal terminal with a single o-ring top design for fewer possible points of failure. The EK Quantum Vector 2 water block is available in two variants, Nickel plus Plexi and Nickel plus Acetal, both variants priced at 239.90 euros. We continue with Astroc and their latest motherboard, the Z790 PG Sonic. As the name suggests, this is an official Sega licensed Sonic the Hedgehog branded motherboard. The design of the Z790 PG Sonic is based around the blue and silver color scheme. The PCB of the motherboard is all black with subtle white accents. Weirdly, for a motherboard with such a design, the RGB implementation is subtle and rather elegant, with only a few RGB LEDs present on the heatsink and perhaps on the IO panel cover. When we talk about the technical features, it's good stuff. The main PCB slot of the motherboard is the newer PCIe 5.0 and one of the M.2 sockets is the newer generation PCIe Express 5.0 M.2. For internet access, you get the Intel-made Killer E3100 2.5G internet controller. However, the highlight of this motherboard is the VRM system, which has no less than 16 phases in a 14 plus 1 plus 1 configuration. As for the price, nothing is known. And finally, Corsair launches the MP600 Pro NH, one of the few M.2 SSDs that is available in an 8TB variant. This is a PCIe 4.0 Times 4 SSD and uses the Fison E18 controller. It has an advertised reading speed of 7000 megabytes per second and an advertised writing speed of 6500 megabytes per second. However, the highlight of this M.2 SSD is the capacity, as it is available in up to 8 terabyte of storage capacity. For 8 terabytes, you will pay a lot. 1074 US dollars to be exact, while the 4 terabyte variant is priced at 530 US dollars and the 1 terabyte variant at 212. The 8 terabyte variant is rarely in stocks, so if you want one, you have to be pretty attentive. And this is the end of the episode number 104 of the ASAP Tech News, one of the few tech news series which aims to deliver you the news as fast as possible for your convenience.